Now in this module we're going to talk about publishing your product reviews. So at this point you should have either written your product reviews yourself or outsourced them like I showed you in the previous video and they're, they've come back and they're ready for you to publish. So if I go over to our demo site um, to publish a product review we simply want to add a post. So go to post, add new and then I'm going to um, bring up the product review I had written. If I scroll this down here. So I'm going to take the title because that's our main keyword. And I'm going to post that in here. And I'm also going to add review to the end because it's a review. So again, we have the Coleman Green Valley Cool Weather Sleeping Bag Review. And that will be our title. Now I'm just going to grab all the content that they wrote for me and simply paste that in here. Now I'm going to clean it up a little um, for features. I'm going to bold that just so it's a little easier to read. And then I'm also going to make all of these features a list. And I'm going to have that be a numbered list. So I just click on the little ordered list icon here and you can see that just um, lists them out a little more cleanly. And then I have the pros. I'm also going to bold that and I'm going to make these a bullet list. So I just click this little tab here. And then cons, I will bold that and also make that a list. And then what I'm going to do, because again we want our main keyword um, at the beginning and end of our content. At the end of the content I'm just going to simply paste in Coleman Green Valley Cool Weather Sleeping Bag Review and then I'm going to give it a rating. So let's say I say 4.5 out of 5. And I'm also going to bold that. So now we have our main keyword at the end of our content and it is bold. Now what we want to do is um, edit our little headway search engine optimization. So I'm going to just copy the title again and put that as our title. And I'm going to add a description. Let me do that real quick. Okay, so I just put the Col or the Coleman Green Valley Cool Weather Sleeping Bag is an excellent choice for the recreational camper. Come read our full review to see how well this sleeping bag rated. So again, I have that main keyword term in there. And then basically I'm just enticing them to come read our review by saying, you know, come read our, re read our full review to see how well this sleeping bag rated. So if you're thinking about purchasing the sleeping bag, um, chances are you're going to want to come see um, how well it rated. Um, and that's We don't have to mess with any of this stuff down here. One thing we do want to do is add some tags. Um, so again, I'm going to put my main keyword in there, which is the Coleman Green Valley Cool Weather Sleeping Bag Review, which is a mouthful. And I am also going to put, I'll just shorten it because people might be not searching for that whole, that whole term. So I'm going to put the Coleman Green Valley Sleeping Bag Review. And also put Coleman sleeping bag review as well. So again, I'll put just the, um, well, this is kind of uh, messing up here. Let me pull that back down and then I will add those. So you can see if I move this over so we can see it a little easier. For my tags, I have the Coleman Green Valley Cool Weather Sleeping Bag Review, which is the whole entire long, you know, long tail keyword. And then I shorten it to the Coleman um, Green Valley Sleeping Bag Review, and then also Coleman Sleeping Bag Review, you know, just the main um, the main brand here. We also want to add a category, which I actually already did, but if you don't have a category added, you just hit Add New Category. And for categories, you want to, for my purposes here, I want those to be the brand names. I'm going to be reviewing a bunch of different sleeping bags, um, so I'm going to bunch those by the brand. So I would just put as you see I did, I put Coleman sleeping bag reviews. So any Coleman sleeping bag I review, I'll put that in this category. What this does now is it also gives us a page that can rank for just that main um, brand review. So you know I have a page now that can rank for the very long tail specific product which is the Coleman Green Valley Cool Weather sleeping bag review. But people also might just be searching for Coleman sleeping bag reviews. So I'm going to name my category is that as well so I can go ahead and uh, rank for that category as well. 
The next thing, of course, we need to do is we need to add in our affiliate links. Now, since I already showed you how to do that in the previous video, you're going to follow the exact same format. Um, what I like to do is under the main description, um, so right here, before we get into the features, again, I'll put the product image and then the product link. And then down at the bottom, after I give it a review, I'm going to put that full um, product affiliate link. So let me add those quick, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so I just added those in. So you can see if we scroll down here now, after the main description, we have the image and also the link, the text link. And then down here, it's not showing up in the editor. I have that full product um, link. So I'm going to go ahead and publish that. And then I can hit uh, view post. We can see what that looks like. Just shrink it a little bit. So you can see now we have, you know, our main keyword is in the title. We have our description. We have our affiliate links here. And we also have our product link down there. Now you'll see we need to add like some widgets and some other stuff. So in the next video we'll talk about, you know, cleaning this up. Um, little things we want to clean up. But what you want to do now is, of course, add your first product review. And then what you don't want to do is add them all right now. Again, Google likes to see a site that... Um, slowly and steadily continues to grow. So what we want to do is add one right now, then wait two to three days, add another, then wait two to three days and add another, and on and on and on. And you can keep doing that for as many products as you want to review. And again, our site's going to slowly grow as we add more reviews. So again, you want to add your first one today, and then you will um, slowly add them as we go. Alternatively, you can add them all right now, and instead of publishing them, you can, you know, instead of publishing them right now, you can actually publish them in the future. So I could add another one. Let me just do that. I'll hit Add New. And then where it says Publish Immediately, I can actually say, nope, I want this to publish in two days. So instead of the 25th, I'll put the 27th and then when you hit publish it won't actually show up on your site until that day so you can go ahead and add them all now and just publish them in the future pretty much schedule them or you can just you know every couple days come in here and add another so again that's how you add in the product reviews pretty easy again you want to make sure you're getting your affiliate links in there as well and then in the next video we'll clean this up add some widgets um, you know get rid of some of this stuff at the bottom um, and just clean the site up a little bit